Welcome, boys and girls. The music died down perfectly for that. To the new series, new mainline series, taken over from Alan Wake 2, In Stars in Time. Wow. I'm Joe. I'm Ty. And we're here, hopping into this stuff. We played a demo for this way back when. I, that yep. must have been like a year ago by now, honestly. Maybe even more. Um, so, a long time ago. Uh, you can always check that video out too. Uh, but we don't know if it's going to be like a straight start from that demo don't remember it at all can't remember a single thing but we liked it a lot and this has kind of been on the list for a while kind of a return to the uh indie form but i think we just hop straight into it um not too long of an intro right yeah we basically said that we were gonna probably play this game <laughs> it was in the in the steamos episode oh there's a store what is that oh it's hair i thought that was like a beak Oh. It's Howl's Moving Castle. Well, like Howl's Moving Asshole. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for that. <laughs> Howl's Winking Asshole. Uh, Frin. Okay, so that's that's the little, it's the girl. little kid. Yeah. Sifrin. Sifrin? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. Too sleepy to talk. Sleep sweet. Embrace calls for you. Death. Death calls for you. Yeah, that's kind of what it sounded like. You still have a sleep, aren't you? Make a grumbling sound. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You yawn so hard your jaw cracks. Oh. You've dislocated it. <laughs> you are now a slack jaw. Ugh. Can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. That would be a waste. You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I moved so oh, fast. Oh, you're so fast. Your speed, dude. What an interesting... I'm playing on controller. Uh-huh. There's no diagonal movement at all. Up, yep. down, left, right. So you could just use the D-pad? And there's kind of like a... There's kind of a yeah. weird, like, lag to it. <laughs> oh, really? Like a, like an input of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, move I, and then you move, just like that? Yeah. I hope there's no precision movement, because I'll get fucked by that. There. I wonder if I can... I can't access the settings from here. That's amazing. Pokemon! Siphon, yeah, kind of Pokemon. you're up! You sure are. Hey, Mira. Hey, Siphon. How was your nap? On a scale of 1 to 10. I think I remember what I did for the main character's voice, but I'm just gonna do my voice, because it's gonna... So... I what, think I did, let me, like, let me a hear protagonist. It. I think it was protagonist, was the idea. It was like, it was like, let's see, you know, like, it was, it was so an anime protag. You, you did that for the other girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did the power... Uh, like voice Power? for for the I think yeah for main, the other. Shit. I love doing main character regular voice because it's just like right. Let's see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can I can choose. I don't even remember what they asked me about. How was my nap? Okay. I think so. A solid nine. Is it not a ten because the finish could use some work? We'll do better next time. Next time, I promise I'll let you sleep in so we can get the elusive ten out of ten score. Oh wait, I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we should make it special somehow. So, I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories. Get killed. How is it different from what you normally do? Well, okay. Uh, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry. I was trying to find something fun to do tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was... It was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Maybe we should forget about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Your lack of enthusiasm made Mirabelle upset. No, I, I think it's fun. Let's do it. Are you sure? All right, then. Um, so if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I don't think I can convince everyone. They're gonna have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay, let me think. Madame Odile should be up in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be in the fields to the east. And Isabeau is at the favor tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the edge of the east of town, right past the broken bridge, so you can just tell everyone to meet up there later. 
That's not like <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, that's uh that's too much. <laughs> uh I always remember things. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location, just in case. <gasps> Thank God. You forget. <laughs> yes, Mark. Alright, I'm not gonna the the parentheses notes, not getting read anymore. It's too much. Right, yeah. We're going to be here for hours if yeah. we do that. Well, we are going to be here for hours. I wanted to but... make sure I forget if the protagonist <laughs> actually had lines or not. I was like, if they yeah, did I have lines. Think, I don't think they did in the in the demo. Yeah. I don't, I don't think the okay, see you at the clock at tower later then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the change god statue too. For good luck. Oh, yeah, the homeless god. Change. Uh, uh, a lot of people to talk to. There's new inside around here. We just have enough reading it. I'm just skimming. I have to read it too. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh look, there's everybody already. And Bonnie. We'll turn that down one. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. There's visual. Big giant scroll. <laughs> I think that's fine. With these little little character. Wait. So there was another name. That she listed, right? Well, she oh, said Bonnie. Deal. Oh, yeah, she said, Bonnie <sighs> was the one that you did with the like the the power voice. Bonnie was I, not not Mirabelle. Mm. I don't know what voice we gave Mirabelle. I think I gave Mirabelle just just my well, my normal women's. Why voice. are we all level forty five? Well, because we're going to fight the king. We finished the game. Mm, that's right. One of the savers, aren't you? You're one of those oh. heroes, aren't you? You people have traveled with um. Yes, Odile. She's from Kablooey, right? My sister went to Kablooey <laughs> once. Her last name, such a different culture. This is Odile. Hmm. Look, the mom of the group, isn't she? Ew. Ew. I think so these like, are, uh, I, are we not reading I thoughts kind of, either? I kind of, those, I mean, we could, yeah. We could, we could. Yeah, we I think if it's like, oh you know, my god, the end of the world is fine and all, but I have only one regret. I won't be able to know what happens to Lord Joseph Andre in the final issue of the cursing of Chateau Castle. Did he manage to protect his castle to the very end? Did he finally find his Pierre Jacques Ernest? Did he finally find more about himself? Oh, I'll never know. Is that really what they're worried about today? A book series? Fucking angry. Not their imminent death or anything? Weird. I kind of like already, yeah, I, I don't need to read this stuff about like. No, that's like, like flavor text. Um, So we're about to go fight the king. It's our last night before inevitable death. Is kind of what it sounds like. Unless we defeat the king, maybe? I, I don't know. Yeah, but it's it seems like it's maybe not going to happen. All right. And it doesn't seem like <laughs> Spoilers. they're very... <laughs> well, I mean, it seems like they're not very, like, uh, confident. In There's their... a gimmick about this game mm -hmm. that has been spoiled in the sense of, like, when we were interested, we're like, ooh. It's not something we ran into in the demo, but it's something we found out doing, I think, the tids for it. Um, And so I'm not going to spoil it for the viewer. Okay. But... I think I know what Just it is. Don't look, please. You look away. From multiple sources of spoilage on oh, my part. Shit. <laughs> Jesus, stop. What is this shit in the bottom right? Is uh, that the map? So you're, you're talking about the gray block yeah. down there? Uh, so uh, Chris popped up and was playing a game and the Steam notification didn't go away. That's so weird. Also, that usually never... Oh my <laughs> Christ. I saw it, dude. I could see all... Fixed a fucking graphics thing. It's fucking fixed. Okay, so if you're like, <laughs> steam, what is steam that? underlay? What is that gray box? What, what is that? What is that box? What does it mean? <laughs> Plus, with the charge guard, the power to save Vagard. Plus, before Fuckard? all this, Fagard. Um, she was the houseman. <laughs> I, that's an awful idea because I think that's like the name of either the town or the world. Um, <laughs> Fagard. Before all this, she was the houseman at the House of Change nearby. She did classes, help out with chores, help with the other houseman with the duties and craft. Uh, little perfect Mirabelle. Hmm. As for me, I think she's the most wonderful being on Earth. No wonder the changed god blessed her with she's this powerful. I used to go to the house for a lot of my classes, and she's always there taking the class with me. Never had a class I didn't share with her. She's so cool, so helpful, so driven. So Honestly, cool. we're kind of best friends, even though I never had a single conversation with her. Talking to people is hard, you get it. You hope she'll get to talk to Mirabelle for tomorrow. Dude, what are these little dancing things? I, I went up to it, and like I didn't really... Yo, what is it though? It's just Dude. like a little person in a hoodie. There is it's a the little change figurine god. of a, Oh, it's the change god. Okay. Dance slightly. Very stylish. 
Wow. There is so much text on everything. I honestly right. want to stop clicking as much as I am. Like, yeah, no, you, I like we're gonna bird chirps. The bird chirps. Oh no! In Vanguard, they say pee poo. Pee poo. <laughs> pew pew. Dude, the, the, everybody's got wow. like a million lines of text. I know. You could probably walk up to that dandelion. It would fucking have uh, all different faces. Sad some of sad eyes. Some of brightest smile. Your antibiotic craft and one jumps around, bends on your foot. Stands before you. The deity. They said that this is one of the things we had to go do was to go talk to this. So. Yeah, we had to go talk to this thing. Finally here at the end of your journey. It only been a few months ago you met Mirabel. So much has happened since then. Oh, boobies. It was almost a year ago now that the king appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Vagard, fre freezing in time everything in its path. With the Freezing in stars and time. With the Dormant's house of change in his control, he patiently waits, for he knows his curse can only be reversed if he is defeated. His victory would be all but determined if not for Mirabel. Your friend Mirabel is the only survivor of the house of Dormant. After the king froze everyone inside in time and locked the gates. Everyone says she was blessed by the changed god themselves with the power to fight back against the king's curse, making her the only one able to save Vagard. It's hard to pronounce. Vagard. It's like Vogard, maybe? I don't know. Like Valgard. Valgard. Um, Vugard. When you met her, she was already traveling with Isabeau and Odile, trying to get the orbs necessary to open the house's gates and defeat the king. You helped them defeat a particularly strong sadness, and seeing your strength, they asked you for your help. You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. A few weeks later, you met Bonnie, completing your little <laughs> team. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one. Um... You <laughs> saw a lot of our guardians during your travels, some frozen, some not, and you did your best to sidestep the slowly encroaching curse, but still, you all kept going. Mirabel kept going to honor the change god's blessing, save her beloved house, and save Vagard. Isabeau came with her after Vagard's defenders for themselves refused to help. Odile came to satisfy her curiosity about Vagard, and because, she said, leaving the fate of a country to a bunch of young ones would give me an ulcer. Bonnie came to save her, their sister, frozen by the curse. You're here because there's nothing else for you to do. <laughs> what else are you okay. supposed to do except travel with them? Cool. Once, Mirabel asked if you were okay, following them on a journey to save the country. She felt guilty. Felt like she was forcing everyone to follow her on a hopeless quest. You waited to put her, want her to put her at ease, so you easily and truthfully that traveling with everyone was the happiest you could remember being. She looked upset. You cringe just thinking about it, truth be told. Maybe not the considerate thing you should have said to somebody with her problems at the moment. But tomorrow, one way or another, your journey will end. Live or die. You should believe something very strongly at the change god. That's how those things work, right? Mirabel and Isabeau taught you before. Can't just ask for things because the change belief considers this lazy. It's the change god. Only pure belief and confidence in yourself will do. But the change god only providing a little nudge. If anything is lazy here, it must be the change god. Okay. <laughs> change god, change god. Could we have... God. I'm not going to get into it, but like... <laughs> <laughs> could we have maybe named it something could else we, or, or not mentioned we... it a thousand yes, times? Yes, yes, that's the problem. <laughs> you believe strongly or whatever. Their hits will super... So do more damage? Wait, what is Take this? less damage? Is this a game oh, we speed. mechanic? Yeah. Dude, uh, I hit super hurt. We do damage here. Yeah, I think we do that. Best defense is a good offense. If you hit hard, nobody will hurt you and your friends. You repeat in your breath, super powerful, super powerful, super powerful. Change God, change God, change God. It's just like a, like a Kingdom Hearts at the start. I you like so. choose your... Yeah. yeah. Even had the like Kingdom Hearts music while we were in that, that cut scene. You actually feel a little more powerful. Wow. Do a little flourish with your dagger. Look at it. You dropped your dagger. Wow, we suck. You and friends attack got a tiny bit better. Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. You can also save your progress by praying at the Change God statue. Close your eyes. You change God. You save God. It's time <laughs> to put the put Change God, God away. I'm still not out of this text. I, I wow. Okay, God that's away. enough for today. You think the Change God for its blessing and quickly run away, crossing it out for the Change God reminder now. It's, it's fucking becoming one of those words that doesn't sound like the yeah. word anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fishing. You look like someone who would like fishing. Would you like to fish I, for a little bit? How, how did you know? Oh, yes. Why not? Yes. yes. Fishing, huh? <laughs> you don't really know how to do this. 
Take the fishing pole they're offering you. Choose the lure, the same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole, throw it in the water, and sit down and wait. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. Nice. You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the fishing person evil? Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Vagard, are you? <laughs> That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Polteria myself. I came to Vogard to further my studies a few months ago. Pateria, huh? How are you liking Vogard? It's nice, right? Lots of scholars, good food, welcoming people. Especially their houses have changed, God. They let everyone in and aren't shy about sharing the knowledge, even if you don't follow their belief. It's strange, right? I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to a country with such welcoming people. I could move here, to be honest, with all my money. <laughs> well, it's a little awkward right now with the king. I might actually be forced to move here. Permanently. Um, I should pick up a good spot to be frozen in. Uh, not that I think you won't win tomorrow, of course. I don't think you're going to win tomorrow. I have faith you'll win, of course. No, I don't. Bugard is very welcoming. People always notice you're not from here but they're more than likely to ask you to stay at their home and for a bit more than anything else. There's still so much to do. Oh I know. my goodness. Who are these people? The woman sits here frozen in time. Judging by the way she looks, she's at the last stage of the curse. Not even oh. Mirabelle could reverse it now. The only way she can come back to normal is if you manage to beat the king. Wow. Hello. Hello. Well, okay. Oh, okay, you, you, well, you okay. got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Welcome to my home, complete stranger. Oh, you're... You are the people traveling with Mirabelle, aren't you? One of the saviors. Yes, I like going into strangers' homes. Don't we all? It's like Pokemon. Since you're here, can you help me? I'm trying to figure out which necklace to give my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife. She stops while she's crafting and shows you two necklaces, one with round beads and one with teardrop-shaped ones. Next to her, her wife is not moving an inch. <laughs> I didn't realize this was a lady. <laughs> I like the teardrop <laughs> one better. Hmm. You're right. I think she'd be happy about this one. She gently attaches the necklace around her wife's neck and looks at her for a while. Hey, make sure you defeat the king tomorrow, okay? Otherwise, my, my wife's gonna be frozen like this forever. You can just skip it. That's why I, I made them say that. I like to ask my wife which one she actually prefers. Yeah. Yeah quickly run out of the house before all the text attacks us from all the fucking cabinets and shit. It's it's that general RPG flavor Oof, text look stuff. Look at you, so scrawny. Scrawny one, did you know you could press X to run? Should give it a try sometime. Oh, and do you know you could turn on always running option menu so you can run all the time? Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing X makes you run? <laughs> did you know you can run all the time by going into the options menu? Do you run? Do you like running? Oh my God. More of a lazy, take it easy type. Disgusting. I, I mean, <laughs> understandable. You look like you've never ran a day in your life. So you need to oh build God. up those muscles, get fast, get swole, oh and press X to run. Rude. It's Mark. You may not look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest one out of your group. <laughs> I already have auto run on. See, this is walk. <laughs> yeah, that's walk and then auto run is... Uh... I already have auto run on. Wow. Whoa. Hey, want to buy something? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to, but you can't afford much with the silver coin. Share your silver coin anyway. With one of those, you can get a third of a pastry. But, aren't you one of the saviors traveling with little Mirabelle? Don't worry about a thing, then. Can I get you anything on the house? A croissant? Croissant, maybe? A croissant? I could have, I could have had him as French. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. I've never seen anyone give a look of disdain when it's offered a croissant. That's right! Because <laughs> I hate the French! <laughs> <laughs> You've realized as soon as you step foot in the house, you're like, I smell croissant. Uh, a pan au chocolat, then? Only monsters don't like pan au chocolat. You like those? You nod. Ha. Huh. One pan au chocolat coming up. You got a pan au chocolat. Yay! <laughs> you think about putting it in your pocket saving letter, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. It smells like butter and chocolate. Should I control yourself? Take only a small, dainty bite. But it's too yummy. In two bites, you've eaten the whole pastry. Not gonna lie. Seeing a tiny one like you eat it like this, like a rabid beast? That was disturbing, you fucking freak. 
Good luck tomorrow. <laughs> I'm shielding my daughter's eyes from your freakishness. <laughs> Will Kim, <laughs> I'm helping Papa today. <laughs> She's French. He's not. <laughs> He's not. Yeah. It skips a generation. That's how I suppose at the tree. Okay, so we can't see Isabeau yet. Can we go in here? Door oh. seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like Dormont knew how locked doors. Lock, keeping it closed, is an interesting shape. Doesn't have a hole for a key. Keep that in mind. Okay. In case we ever return here, you know. Some kind of barrel house up here. Oh. oh I think that's... Uh, Odile's yeah, here, Odile. looking at what the shop has to offer. Are we saying Odile or Odile? What are we, what are we going with? I was I thought it was Odile, but I guess it could be Odile. I'll, like I'll like be, Odile. Uh, I'll be, oh, what, what voice do I want to give this? Mike, change. Subject to change. Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? <clears throat> I mean, we were told to come and talk. We're fighting the king tomorrow. We are. I hope you're prepared. The king and the sadness his destruction creates. They possess crafts capable of slowing us down or even freezing us in time completely. So, as always, we're counting on you and your speed to keep us out of our trouble. Ah. So you want me in the front again? Leading everyone, if possible. You've already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive. So I don't see why that has to change. And as always, you can count on me to provide everyone with intel on any enemies we encounter. I'm the strategist. Everyone except Boniface will be on battle duty. But I might ask Boniface to do something as well. I might be good for everyone to give the kids something to do. Boring tactics talk, I know. I'll shut up and buy items for our journey to the top of the house. Oh, Very breathy voice. It? I'm like running out of <clears throat> breath halfway through the sentence. Is your field of research <laughs> tactics? Oh, Jims. Are you still trying to figure out what I'm researching? No. My field of research isn't tactics. Isabeau actually proposed that one last week, late one. What? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. What did that mean? Give it up already. None of you will ever figure out what I'm studying. It will stay a secret forever. It's bombs. <laughs> it's the king. Clock tower sleepover. Sleepover, huh? You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. But the room only has three beds, right? I better get a whole bed to myself. I am an adult. I'm the mom. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mirabelle and Bonnie? So who will sleep on the ground? You or Isabu? <laughs> Isabu. Is it, of course. Oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> I'll be so there. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> you know, since we already decided earlier we'd meet at the clock tower and all. Yeah. You already planned to meet up at the clock tower. So is our need? Do you let everyone know? You could have just met everyone at the clock tower. Oh, oh shut well. up, game. Not like you would have anything better to do. <laughs> anything else? What will you do after? After tomorrow, if we survive. I wish I had your confidence. Maybe I'll just go home to Kabu. Haven't seen my country in many years. Before I met Mirabel and Isabu, my main goal was to travel to Vergard and see its many different places, sites, and cultures. I've already accomplished this by traveling with Mirabel, so... Was it all for your research? Yes. Your research into... Travelology. Culturesology. Culture... Culturesology? Is it a field of research, Sifrin? But it is a field of research you spent your life trying to create. <laughs> Stop inventing a backstory for me. What about you? What will you do? If we beat the king, that is. Go to the pub? <laughs> go fishing, not catch anything? Will you go back to your own country, maybe? Whoa. Whoa, you can't say that. Come up with my own field of research. Ugh. That's it. All right. Okay, I'll see you at the clock tater. Clock tater. 
Later then. Woo! Are you hopping? Are you hopping <laughs> <laughs> you, you hoppin over here? What's up, shopkeep? Ahoy, traveling one! Oh, you're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I remember you. Can you believe Mirabelle has been blessed by the change god to save us all? The change god almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle has been chosen. May the change god protect her in her journey. You change know, god. The change god, huh? How does change every god. character I choose talk about the change god nonstop? The fucking change god. <laughs> Someone else is exercising. Tutorial hey, kid. you! The stranger doll with the hair. My name is Tutorial Kid. Oh, no. Tutorial Kid is named Agathe, sewn into her clothes. My mom says you're very strong, and I'm gonna help save us all. But I need to challenge you to know your strength, so let's play rock, paper, scissors. I accept your challenge. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Joey Wheeler! <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, the jazz. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like swing. I'm gonna um, it up a little bit. It's a little quiet on my end. There we go. Rock, paper, scissors. The only fight there is. You know how to play rock, paper, scissors, right? <laughs> the only fight there is. Of course you do. What kind of person doesn't know how to play rock, paper, scissors? Competitors, considering Shoot. it's the basis of combat, of the war, of life. Let's play rock, paper. Attack, attack, attack. <laughs> All right, um, make a fist and present for usual flat hand. Dude, we're going paper. You always have paper to open. You throw paper. Throw paper. <gasps> they throw paper. They know the, the rules. Oh, we both threw the same thing. That's a draw. Hmm. Looks like I shouldn't underestimate you. Okay, let's try it again, Yug. Rock, paper. Yug. Sizor. Yep, Sizor is second. They're gonna go Sizor. Ah! Oh. Yeah, my hands have thrown a rock shape. Victory is mine this round. Okay, last round. Rock, paper. Well, I mean. They're probably gonna go rock again, right? No, they went scissors, okay. You threw rock? No, I threw scissors. Why this? No. You get in like this. This can't be a draw. Yo, the You're shadow quite realm. powerful, hat adult. I'll give you that. Now you know the basics of rock, paper, scissors. So you're invincible. Our training has come to an end. Farewell. Did, did they call you hat adult? Hat adult, yeah. I didn't know if we were adults or not, but I guess we are. <laughs> I think we are, yeah. Yeah, I think we've I think we've done everything. Right? We haven't gotten this. On the... Yeah, we no, we oh, haven't no, gotten we here. Who's this guy? Welcome to the library. Well, our selection is kind of lacking. All the good books are in the house. But the house is, well, closed until further notice since the king took resistance, their residence there and froze everyone in time. Are you looking for a book in particular? No. No problem. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Oh, God. Mirabelle's here, sitting on a bench, looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Uh, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Oh, being in Dormont, you mean. It's nostalgic. This is where I lived before, after all. I mean, when I wasn't studying or working at the house or dealing with my family being frozen, possibly dead. <laughs> Dormont itself hasn't changed much, but the house. We can see it from the village, you know. How distorted is up? How does it become? Is that the locked house? Uh, I don't know. I was the only one who managed to escape the house from the king attack. So many people must be hurt. Or maybe they're all... We'll save them all tomorrow. Yes, you're right. I should stay positive. Sorry. What will we do after? After? Won't it jinx us to talk about this? Well... I'll need to make sure everyone in the house is okay. Beating the king should make their time flow again, so they won't be frozen anymore. And I need to talk to the head housemaid and apologize for taking so long. She was the one... She was the one supposed to beat the king. She would have done a better job than I did, if only the king didn't freeze her in time. But after I apologize, I was thinking of traveling again, you know. You know, as the housemaiden of change, I'm supposed to keep striving for change, even more than a normal believer. And part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage. Pilgrim? Which I haven't done yet. Didn't this whole journey count as a pilgrimage? No? I mean, I don't think so. The pilgrimage is all about learning new things, and seeing new places, and changing yourself and other people you meet. This journey could have been that, but... 
I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same old Mirabelle. You feel like she's changed a lot since you've met her. But who are you to judge? What about you, Sifrin? What will you do? Oh. Hard drugs. Um, go on a <laughs> pilgrimage too, maybe. Oh, that's great. But I thought, oh, change. Are you thinking of converting to the house of change? The house oh, no. would be delighted. I have some pamphlets. Pass. <laughs> uh, I'm fine <laughs> staying the same person forever. You're fine with it? Oh, okay. Uh, nope. I'm not going to ask where everyone is because I know where everyone is. Okay, there should be so somebody to gonna... the the right. Is it Isabel? Look at all this stuff. Oh, there's more houses, more oh, there's people. So, there's so many people in houses. I'm uh, I'm I'm speeding it. Okay. John pictures. Oh, it's nice. Mirabelle. It's Mirabelle. Beams at you. Show you another one. It's me. That's oh, you. <laughs> That's me. It's me. <laughs> you like their art, maybe. Can you draw me something I can take with me? Okay. Oh, it's everybody. Jesus. It's you and your friends. It's me and my friends. <laughs> Happy noise. Give you the drawing. Got the friendship doodle. Put the drawing in your pocket. Thank you, talented one. A secret item for the uh, the last boss. Hello. Ah, uh, aren't you one of the saviors traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. Oh, I know. I grow flowers. Beautiful flowers that could make someone like you happy. Here, have one. You could keep it or gift it to someone special. Get the bright flower. Put it in your pocket. Rally around the family. You can give flower to one of your party members by talking to them. Flowers. Okay. Neat. So something we can give to our party members. Okay. Oh, is someone there? Yes, hello. Hello there. I don't recognize your voice. Are you perhaps one of the saviors? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It's very nice to meet you. I've met another one of you earlier. They smelled like snacks. A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. They went to look at my veggie field and talk about my veggie tails, and then went to look at my veggie field. They said my vegetables look really tales. shiny and, and delicious, so I would die for them now. There's uh, a lot of Christian undertones in there, those veggie tails for some reason. Perhaps I shouldn't weird. make such jokes, <laughs> considering considering they might actually die soon because of the curse. Oh my god. That bird has the plague. Door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think. Okay, same thing as before. Because okay, so all the locked ba, 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 yeah, ba. places, there's like a, a thing about it. Alright, we got the trio of people. You look kids. so weird. Are you from up in the sky? How'd you know? <laughs> look at the yes, face. Yes, I knew it. If you're from the sky, then I'm gonna give this back to you. Fuck yeah, we're just getting shit. Oh, yeah, this is like the get shit area. You got a four-pointed leaf. You put the leaf in your pocket along with the souvenirs. It fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. I'm just powering through these voices. Frog embroidery. Nah. Nah. Wait, they might give you the frog embroidery. I can't embroidery. talk to them again! That interaction's just done! <laughs> I can't talk to them anymore! Oh, that's fucked. Wizard loving kid. Hey, hey, big hatted one. My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but that doesn't mean you're a wizard. Because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? <laughs> nah, just a traveler. Boring. Oh, we didn't even get the option to say yes? That's what I'm saying. Oh, hello, traveler. I hope the smell in here isn't too overpowering. I'm cooking a lot of different things for tomorrow. All of us in Dormont talked a few days, and we decided you'll be exploring the house to fight the king. Everyone in the village will be partying. That way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. But if you don't, we all get frozen by the curse. We'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. That's weird. Huh, well, yes, it is. <laughs> Fuck, that is so weird. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> What an indignified asshole. Okay, everyone's got their little change god Bridge thing. Bridge broken, no try. Bridge broken, we go talk to Bonnie. Bunny! All right. Bonnie. Are you want to be Bonnie or you want me to do Bonnie power? <sighs> or, I mean, we both can do the voice, so it really doesn't matter who does it. I like, um, I, it's, because I it, Bonnie in the demo was super high energy and now it's like low energy, at least for the introduction. So it's, it's weird. I could, yeah. I could, Hey, friend. Oh, boy. What do you want? A sleepover. That's pretty dumb. Was it your idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slipping into the anime. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, yeah. We can do this. Uh, mirrors, actually. Oh. Then it's a great idea. Why didn't you come up with it? Stars, you do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. <laughs> no. Not even a little bit. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk about my sister! Anyway, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's around, gonna move from the, her spot. 
Bonnie Sisters in Bamboosh, a coastal Bambush. village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few I months like ago, Bambush. the king froze their whole vil village in time. Unless you manage to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie Sister will never move again. What will we do after? If you beat the king, I'll go and see my sister in Bamboosh. Duh. And then? And then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really tried. And then? And then and you won't then? be there anyway, so you won't be here to be asked me stupid questions, you crab. No end then. What about you anyway? What will you do? I'll go to space. Space sounds lame. I bet you ain't even go there anyway. I totally can. Wait, really? How? It's a secret. This is why I don't like you, Silphren. If he winks, is he just blinking? You don't get the flower, bitch. See you at the clock tower. Alright, so the only person we have left to find is Isabu. Which should be uh, north, I imagine. Is a bay. Did we? We did that house at the very there top, was also right? A, we did, yeah. Um, there was also um, a path to the left. Yeah, but when I tried to go, it was like, oh, they're, they did, they're at the tree. Something. Yeah, it oh, like, gave okay. me some fucking message. I think we had to beat the shit out of Tutorial Kid. That's cool. Um, Hello, young yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Sit down next to uh, me. A lad, I'll have you know. Lad, you can sit on benches and stools by walking into them. As I know, just walk into them. Very intuitive. We've done this already. I think I can go to the left now. I think... Okay, you need, you just had to go up here. Yeah, I think uh, Bovine or whatever. <laughs> Bovine? <laughs> Bovine was north, but they were in the shop, actually. And now uh, now I can okay. go here. Isabeau's here, probably pondering what favor to ask like the tree. Him. Okay, what, what voice do we want for, for Isabeau? I'm That's gonna, all you. I'll, I'll do him. I don't like so in the in the demo I mm. did that super mm -hmm. over the top. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. But, but I think it kind of fits him because look at him, dude. Look at him. He's a hunky, hunky, campy man. Yep. Um. But then I also could do like a like a like a soldier's voice or something. It might change. Subject to change. We'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> stick with. Second time it. you said that. Yeah. Subject to change for both of the for both of my main voice people so far. Um. Siv. Isa. Siv. Isa. Siv. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> oh, boo. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't it the tree cool? Hmm. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One could say it's a pretty. Uh huh. Tremendous tree. This is me! The main character is just me! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes! His fucking mouth oh. or his tongue is a heart. I, I feel like I have to stick with this voice for him. <laughs> Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder, but stops, brings it to his side. Uh, that was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? Clock tower, sleepover, yada yada. Oh, sleepover, crab, yeah. Doesn't the clock tower have only three beds, though? I'm guessing Bonbon bon and Mira will share, and Madame Odile will take her own. I guess I'm going to sleep on the bed, which means we'll share beds, Sif. I got dibs on the left side. Sure. Yay, but please try not to hog the covers this time. I'm getting cold at night. What's up with the big tree? Oh, you don't know about the favor tree? Well, it's just a random big tree. But when you're a believer of the house of change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called a favor tree. It's like, it's the tree with the most power, and you can ask it things. As a favor? Like, please help me pass my defender exams. Which is like a totally random example. Don't take that for granted. Wasn't Isabeau a defender? Did you ask a mythical tree to help you pass your exams? And I passed with flying colors. Thank you very much. Well, I did study very hard. It's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor, too. It's a big day tomorrow. What will you do after? After we beat the king. Wow, Sif. So confident. So cool. I like it. I think I'll just return home to Yovamp. <laughs> I don't have anything else planned. 
I wonder how your vault is doing. When we left it, it was still standing moving, but I think the king's curse may have caught up to it. So then, will you take your job back? Nah, being a defender has kind of lost its shine. I always admired the defenders, you know. It's all about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Helping them out of whatever they need. Be get, getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bag. But when Mira came to Yvonne asking for help after Dormont's house had fallen, I was ready to help for all Yvonne's defenders to help. And you know what they said. Nah. And I could tell that they said it because they were scared. The most defenders see is like a robbery, maybe. So suddenly helping save Bogard was too much for them. But not helping because you're scared. I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit, and I won't go back. I'll do something else. Maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. So maybe I'll just take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. Sounds great, Issa. <laughs> I knew you'd approve. What about you, Seth? What will you do when we beat the king? Crack. Like I said, Start a heroin. comedy club. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you serious? Nah. Oh, that would have been cool. Okay, I'll be going. I'll see. Who are we giving the flower to? Don't know yet. But it seems like something we can, like, give to anybody, so. Ah, oh, the favor tree. Yeah, you ask for it a favor now. I was like, what am I looking at? But it's the hat. It's a potato chip. <laughs> the a favor potato tree chip. looms above you. You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree where you can see some leaves you can grab. You need a leaf to ask the favor tree for something, after all. You look around for a leaf you like and think. Hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power, like a big tree, sounds pretty close to a wish, you think. A wish, a wish. The favor tree seems to be popular among people in Vogard lately. You think if people came to save a w make a wish, they probably wish for Vogard to be saved. You don't really need to add another wish like that to the pile. The trees are probably already on it. But you feel bad wishing for something big and taking away from everyone's wish to save Vogard. Something small then. Something simple. Something nice. Okay, you have a few ideas. But you can only choose one. You wish. Hmm. Oh, what? Is this like the ending? To visit more places in Mirabelle, to wear clothes Isabeau has made, to go with Odile to see her country, to be here when Bonnie reunites with her sister. Mm, so we got to pick which one we want. I think we um, go visit more places in Mirabelle. I feel like that's the... The standard. Yeah, it's the standard. I've um, already fallen in love with Isabeau, so I had to pick clothes, but I, I agree with you. <laughs> Mirabelle has changed so much since you met her. She doesn't realize it, but she's now able to talk to people while looking them in the eyes. Sometimes she even snarks back when you tease her, which you didn't think was even possible. You'd like to continue traveling with her and see her get even more comfortable expressing herself. You want to stay with them. A wish in mind, you look at the leaf you've chosen and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf, repeat it three times, and fold the leaf close, keeping your wish safe. All done. Gently, you let the leaf go and walk back to the town. You have a sleepover to go to, after all. Oh boy. I just can't wait. Clock tower to east of town, past the broken bridge, huh? It may be time for you to head out there. On the next episode. Ooh. <laughs>